review. Let's go. It's the brew review. Let's go. It's the brew review. Everybody get your hands up for the brew review. Come on, everybody, let's dip it on back. Body, head, and cap. Show me what you got on that tap. Cause it's K Dog and Mr. GMC. Everybody here knows that it's BYOB. Tell me how it tastes. Tell me, tell me how it smells. Is it that old bud or that yang lang hell? But it's time to get it started, so we started off right. It's the brew review. Alright, what's going on guys and gals, and we are back for another fun edition of the Brew Review. What we got for you today is something good, something lazy. Something we have different. Yeah, we never had these guys before. They're called Lazy Magnolia, Mississippi's oldest brewery. Wow. Interesting. There, This one in here is called Southern Pecan, the original pecan, That's Nut right. Brown Ale. <laughs> nut. The original Nut Brown All brewed with roasted pecans. Roasted penises? Not roasted penises. So, Roasting yeah, out. look at this. You have your date codes along the edge here. You've got your barbecue, add cheese, and all that good stuff. you got David running past the studio and all that. And you can see this is 4.5%. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and independent craft. Oh, that's interesting. Independently craft. That's a yes. pretty cool logo there, too. So you can scan your barcode, pause if you read all that shit. We'll rotisserie back around. And... Cap. Pretty good cap. Yeah. So oh, wait, there's more. We'll slide that over to you. And yes, double feature tonight. This one is Lazy Magnolia Sweet, sweet Potato Stout. Potato Stout. Brewed with sweet potatoes and lactose. Brewed and bottled by Lazy Magnolia Brewing Company, LLC, and Clint, Mississippi. Clint, Mississippi. Yep. Clint, uh, I guess I pronounced that right. Those of you out there can correct me in comments. Yeah, sure. And of course, you know, you got your independent shit and all that good stuff, and you can pause and read all that. And, and there you same go. cap. So, now, this is what uh, struck me, dog, is the food on the side of it, as you see. Is it what you eat when you drink it? I, I'm guessing that's what that is, like what you would pair this with. So, for this, the Southern Pecan... It's good for, like, barbecues, aged cheese... Well, shit. ...rich desserts and burgers. So, I look at the packaging right now, at least on this one. 2018. It's expired. Fuck you! Well, fuck you, too. Click! <laughs> oh, wow. So, it says ice cream... Pastry, steak, and ribs. That's what you gotta eat when you drink that's this. A, apparently, that's what you apparently gotta eat. Apparently, they set those. ground rules on their shit. La yeah, Lazy Magnolia, Mississippi's oldest brewery. Wow. So, what's the date on yours? It's 2018, but I mean, who cares if it's expired? It's just a little bit expired. Well, if you don't see any re more reviews after this, you'll know why. LazyMagnolia.com, hashtag do something lazy. Yeah, this same house says dot com in 2019. We're hashtagging now, lazy. Cheer, cheers, y'all. That, that's what the cap says. Lazy yeah, 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 yeah. Cheers, y'all. Yeah, you can tell that's a southern thing. Because we, as we all know, southern people, that's all they do is say y'all. Yeah, well, up here in PA, we say you guys. Or youngs. You know, Sherry's daughter gets on me all the time for saying you guys because they say y'all. <laughs> and I tease her about it all the time. Kentuckians say jeet yet? Jeet yet? Jeet yet? Yeah, I ate today. I, I know West Virginians always say y'all. But, yeah, this is definitely something that I'm very interested in. I'm just hoping the Southern Pecan beer goes better than our last pecan beer that we had. So here's honesty right here. I mean, I'm, I'm seeing it right here right now before we even crack these open. No label on the neck. You can see where it stops. Absolutely. And it says, I respect that. You know where you're getting... Is it, did it say it was 12 ounces? I yeah, believe, there it did. Yeah. yeah, 12 full ounces each bottle. So you know what? I at least respect the fact that they're not trying to hide their bullshit. Respect the fluid. Absolutely. So, with both of these beers... We are going to do the cap test, the body hand test, the drink test, the draft test, the afterward test, not the puke test, and all that good stuff. I hope not the puke test. So, without further ado, and I'm, I'm going to guess that I can't open that I've been shit. Very, I've been very interested to try the sweet potato one. Let's just throw that out. Pap to the rescue. Rest in peace. Beep, beep, beep. Okay, I got a generic deal here. You got. Oh, what is this? 
This is from Philadelphia. It works. Just do it. Oh, I got West Coast Choppers. Maybe put that back in proper style. There we go. We miss you, Pat. Absolutely. Oh! Okay, look so at, I got the sweet potato one. Look at that. Oh, did that just burst over? It just grew a pimple. It, it got a boner. That's what you call a beer burner, folks. I can't I can't even smell it. Fuck me. Well, I don't smell sweet potato. I smell more of a pumpkin. That's bullshit. But then again, sweet potatoes and pumpkins, I mean... The head is blocking this one. It certainly smells dark, I but I do, I do smell a little bit of a spice to it, yeah. It actually smells like a fall beer, huh. to be honest with you. So so me, I think this is a this would be a good one for this type of season we're experiencing right now as we tape this. I just splooged all over the floor. Good to know. You are and everybody, everybody in 96 Thunder Whipland just saw it happen. You're welcome, too. So... I'm going to have me some Lazy Magnolia. Southern <laughs> You're going to put nuts in your mouth. Southern Pecan, the original pecan. Southern Penis Con? Nut Brown Ale. Southern Penis Con Nut Brown Ale? What the fuck, dude? Yes, and what are you having? I have Sweet Potato Stout. Cheers, and let's try it. Sweet Potato Semen? Fuck off. All right, so we're going we're doing three burst. Wow. Well, nice sweet potato taste. Damn. But it does go down rather smooth, and it's good. Same with this one. No pecan taste, but smooth. You fucking liar. At least the cap's open. Well, honestly. we should get to this point where we should realize that it doesn't necessarily going to taste exactly like it's brewed with. Otherwise, everything would just be amazing. All right, so moving on to the next one, Southern Pecan now he's Nut gonna, Brown Ale. Let's now you're going to have some Southern Penis Con Ale with Nut Brown in your mouth. Are you jelly? I just had some, so. <clears throat> oh shit! I got sloppy seconds, but anyhow, I'll try it. And flavor burst. You know, definitely a dark beer, but like you said, it goes down smooth. This does too. No pecan taste whatsoever. That's supposed to be a brown ale. Is that what it said? Yes, it did. Not brown ale. <clears throat> oh. Kind of like this, and, 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 and the strength of it is very modest. It's 4.5% on both of these. Right, and for a darker beer, that is weak as shit. Usually it's good, it's good. Yeah, usually your dark beer is like at least six. Okay, so before we do the glasser, my observation so far, you could probably sit and drink a sixer of it and you'll be fine. Right, right. These aren't drink, harsh. Yeah, yeah, drink a sixer and then go back to your deli. Yeah, these aren't as harsh or as filling as IPAs are, or even other dark beers. This is actually, it goes down smooth. I like it so far. I'm going to say that much. So, so I'm going to pour this one while you pour the other pour one. Pour this. Ooh. This is very amberish. This is 30 weight. <laughs> this here is very amber. Whoa! Amber is the color of the Innsmans. There is no, there's not a speck of light coming out of that bastard. So we'll take a look at the pecan one here first. All right. Uh, oh, good after burp. Nice color, nice brown color. So it, it is transparent to a point. Not much head. No, no. And then we'll go ahead and treat off. I'll look at the uh, other got, one. There you go. That, your... This is the sweet potato stout, correct? Yes. There you got 30 weight. So we'll go back behind the camera with that. And yes, very stout looking. Very dark. Very, yeah, definitely 10W30. <laughs> yeah, like with David Spade and Chris Farley, it's like, I use 10W30. Yeah. Well, it helps you take the bottle out, you idiot. Father could sell a ketchup popsicle to a girl with white gloves. You know, the smell of the glass ain't that strong, though. Mm -mm. So I'm going to go ahead the same. I will oh. go ahead and glass the potato stout and cheers to cheers. that. Good. 
glass glass the fuck out of it. Absolutely. If you're offended by all the swearing on this video, Too click bad. off or fuck off. Too bad. Both go down very, very smooth. I like. Considering what they both are, that's a nut brown ale. This is a stout. <laughs> nut. Nut. They have excellent flavor. As a dark beer, that's not very like harsh. Because usually you have like a harsh, dark taste to it. Yeah, that there is not that harsh. This thing goes down smooth. Best of all, no harsh aftertaste. Oh, there we go. There's the good one. You ever get that one burp that you just can't get out, but once it comes out, you're like, ah. Oh. You're relieved. Relief. Same as a fart. Ooh. The same as a fart. But we've gotten to the age, ladies and gentlemen, where if we have a fart brewing, we're very cautious about when we release said fart. Because of like right now? <laughs> that, probably, that probably went into the pants. That was totally not scripted, by the way, That people. definitely was a squirt. That was not scripted. No, high and dry here. No, that that was that, that looked like a squirt. Oh, oh, oh. come over here. No, David, come here once. No, he don't want to come here. I'm just kidding, dude. I'm no. kidding. I'm kidding. I got it, boy. I know how to you... use. So anyway, rating wise, I liked them. I do too. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say, shit, man. Four and a half right across the fucking board. Nothing was harsh. Nothing stuck around as far as like bad aftertaste or nothing like that. Sure, the titles made a lot a little bit. Tastes what, like anything. Uh, uh, um, yeah, my half point coming off of it is gonna be the fact that they didn't taste what they say. But however, they went down smooth. They were good. Four and a half, both of them. My opinion. Yeah, I'll give it four and a half as well. I will give the extra half point. I was just going to go straight four, but I'll give it a half point because they give you options of what to eat with said beer. So, if I'm going to enjoy the sweet potato stout, I'm going to eat it with some ice cream. Really? Really? Oh, we're good. We ate the burgers earlier today. Really? I'm going to eat this with fucking ice well, What? Cream? We went to, uh, what's that place called? Molly Pitcher. In Carlisle. Yeah, we went to Molly Pitcher. Not Molly Pitcher Highway in Hagerstown. We went to Molly Pitcher Brewery in Carlisle. Yes. And had ourselves, I had myself a fucking, what was it, like a steak burger? Bacon burger. Yeah. Good stuff. Cut Molly, that shit off the pig's ass, you're good to go. Molly Pitcher, Brewer, Molly Pitcher Brewing Company, well worth the drive in Carlisle. Yeah, especially, your, especially if you live in California. There's your free plug. They do sell beer there in the cans. We will eventually do probably some reviews on them. Good stuff. Damn good place, too. But go, go eat there if you can. Lazy Magnolia, hey, first time on, and you're on the board. Good stuff. Love it. Love it. Four and a half, both of you. Good by my book. Mm. So, anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this review of the Lazy Magnolia... Nut brown ale and sweet potato stout. Oh, yes. And, yeah, we'll see you next time. Peace out, people.